Hey y'all, this is Jocasta Lester. In this video, I want to talk to you about how they use the belief in God to confuse people about killing or leaving people alone, okay? There's a concert called Something's in the Water. I think it's indicative of what's actually happening. I believe that there is contaminated water locally. Um, I saw what was um, a worm moving in the pot while I was boiling the water. And there's also a combination of factors because there are these drain bugs too. So I don't know if the larva was from the drain bug or from the water supply. But what I want to tell you is this. I don't want to speak it into existence. I want to speak it out of existence. Hopefully there's nothing in the water. But what I started doing, I started tasting um, in certain bottled water. I went and bought some Dasani just to test the theory. Um, and I noticed that the food line water, it has like a oily um consistency like it's oil like oily substances in it okay um that's what the bottled water is like <laughs> so the bottled water has that consistency as well as some of the tap water so i noticed this in the water here and i know that also they tried to overwhelm us with all of the beliefs because they also started to throw spiritual things on us too so that we got hit with medical situations spiritual situations biological situations um just several different fronts where they attacked people in this city so they converged upon us in several ways and then started to tell us lies about what was actually happening to us then they tried to confuse the ones of us who had uh, direct contact with god and the holy spirit about what was going on okay so i'll just simplify it there's a concert called something's in the water going from place to place if that concert is near you I take everything that they say seriously, treat them like they meant what they said, and pray, but also understand that God is good and you have your due diligence to um, attend to your families. So when it comes to your water, just boil your water as need be until you know that the water is good again. Um, also, don't get, don't get so on edge. Just pray over your water, of course, but also don't um, forego those things that God will let you do in wisdom, okay? So, and I'm not trying to be one of those people for professing myself to be wise and, you know, walking in darkness. I'm born again. And what they've done is effectively tried to make this city a form of spiritual Babylon. And they've tried to basically, you know, it's strange, but spiritually I've been hearing them say Babylon because they, they try to gain relevance on the born again Christian of the world, Christians of the world. And that's what they do. They've just done some weird stuff. So repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Just know that there may be a spiritual component, a, uh, a biological component, and even uh, medical practitioners who may be involved. I sat there and watched a girl with what looked like a worm in her ankle. <laughs> and ain't nobody act like they saw it but me. But I'm not crazy because <laughs> I was there with similar coils. <laughs> So I'm sitting there like, wow, and then I got albendazole. I got real prescription meds. So I'm thankful to God for it because I know God knows what to do. He shows us when we're right about stuff, okay? And God takes care of us even when the system tried to fail and tried to make us feel crazy. They have a game, an evil, where they will all get together and storytell together to make a person feel crazy. The beast does that. It surrounds people at several institutions and people that support those institutions to try to force you into things that you don't understand so just know it so know that god is good and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand but those things that are your fears your worries they nearly try to play games with those things that you worry about nearby it's like they stay close to storytell to make you feel crazy and to make you look crazy and it's enough of them around doing it so that it's it's like being hidden in public okay like them being so like the whole area has a group of people that are for that and when they get their cell going they try to keep their cell going by being close and if they see somebody else that they know isn't in that cell they calm down okay so repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand have a blessed and marvelous day and thank you for watching get people out of these cells of, um, of persecution okay and yes where they could they would use spiritual energy to curse things all around you got it so blessings